Ezekiel chapter 32, continuing. Ezekiel chapter 32. And let's see, we left off uh, verse 4. Then will I leave thee upon the land, I will cast thee forth into the open, upon the open field. This, this was the, again, the sixth uh, prophecy against Egypt. Okay. And, uh, and, you know, he starts out, this one was, let's see, uh, about a year and seven months after the destruction of Jerusalem. That's when this happened, 12th year, 12th month, first day of the month. And we left off uh, uh, God casting uh, the Egyptians forth upon the open field, caused the fowls of the air. Uh, this is the complete and total, pretty much, destruction of Egypt with all of these pictures of destruction, fowls of the, of the heaven to remain upon thee, coming down and, and uh, scavenging the, the bones and, and the bodies. I will fill the beasts of the whole earth with thee. Uh, the beasts of the field will not go hungry because your rotting bodies are there feeding them. And you know, what a nice thing to talk about right after breakfast and before lunch, huh? Okay. And verse 5, And I will lay thy flesh upon the mountains and fill the valleys with thy height. Fill the valleys uh, uh, with thy height. And, and some, some folks, I guess, some commentators uh, kind of you know, think of height as foulness, if you will. With with the, you know, with, with your decaying bodies, and, and and the piling up of the decaying bodies, uh, that and and you know, that would that would kind of work out also, you know how how high the 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 piles of decaying bodies got. So filling them with with their height, I will also water with thy blood. The land wherein thou swimmest. Okay. Uh, you're, yeah, you're, you're, well, that's kind of, the, you know, the land, you're swimming in the, you're, you're, the idea of swimming in the land would be, you know, living in the land. You know, like, like fish, you're living in the land. Okay, and, but uh, uh, water the land with your blood okay, where, where you live. Uh, even to the mountains, and the rivers shall be full of thee. Uh, this, this is, we're talking, the, the picture here uh, is of uh, massive amounts of dead bodies. Okay? And, and that, that's the picture. And when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heaven and make the stars thereof dark, I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. Okay. And, and well, this is isn't this a picture of of uh, uh, what's going to happen during the tribulation? Uh, you know, here, here's here's uh, uh, again, you know, kind of a a future prophecy of what's going to happen during the tribulation. Think about that one, and. All the bright stars of heaven will I make dark over thee, and set darkness upon thy land, saith the Lord God. And and the, you know this also can could refer to the darkness when when it became dark when Jesus died. You know that darkness. Okay. And, and, and you know again, pictures, future prophecy, pictures here. You, know, you, you might stretch them a little bit, but, uh, but hey, it works. Okay. I will also vex the hearts of many people. You know, call it stress, uh, uh, depression, you name it. Uh, you know, how, how you vex a heart, you, 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 you uneasy. Uh, our, our governor is doing a whole lot to vex the hearts of the people. Many people. 
Yeah. It's working too. It's, it's, it's working. It's worth me. Yeah. No, yeah, we're, we're all having PTSD because of it. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Stress, depression, crime rate is going up. All of that when the hearts of many people are vexed. Wow. Okay? Right. When I shall bring my, uh, but, but God, the, you know, this is, you know, God is actually doing this. God is, is allowing this to happen. God, if you will, hired Nebuchadnezzar, heathen king of the Babylonian Empire, to do all of this. Okay? He gave him a job. I will also uh, vex, okay, yea, uh, let's see, I will vex the hearts of many people when I shall bring thy destruction among the nations into the countries which thou hast not known. Okay? And, and this can, ref again, th this can be, you know, pro what's going on today. Uh, you know, Pharaoh of Egypt didn't know about us or anything like that. And, you know, your destruction will be noticed by, I said, all of these archaeologists who are going in and finding out, finding all of this, all these towns, all of this destruction, okay, uh, and all of these countries that he has not known, uh, that, that bring thy destruction, you know, <coughs> they're finding out. They're learning about all of uh, the destruction of Egypt. Yea, I will make many people amazed at thee. Okay. You know, shocked, amazed. What did, you know, what's going on here with Egypt? Why is God, oh, why is God being so mean to Egypt? Why is God being so mean to Israel, his chosen people? Why is God being so mean and nasty to all, oh, what a horrible God this is. No. God is a jealous God. All of these nations that, are, that have been mentioned here in Ezekiel, they're all nations that have, at one time or another, been mean to God, mean to God through being mean, if you will, to his people, Israel. And uh, uh, so, you know, they're all, they're all amazed, yeah. Well, okay, God is right, God is in control, God knows exactly what he's doing, okay, and God chastens, chastens his own people, Israel, and us, chastens us, when, when we, you know, don't obey him, okay, and that's the problem with Israel, they aren't obeying. Uh, uh, and, uh, I will make many people amazed at thee, and their kings shall be uh, horribly afraid for thee. Okay? Because there are other, other nations. Remember, Egypt had the same problem. Egypt's pharaohs were fearful when, when Nebuchadnezzar came down and took Jerusalem. They were fearful that they were next. And there's all of these other kings in all of, in the world at the time, the Middle East there, and the, and the Babylonian Empire, all of these, uh, if you will, kings of uh, you know small city states, whatever. Uh, hey, oh, you're next. Okay? We're we're next. What they're doing to Egypt is going to happen to us. That's what, the, that's what this, this is a picture of. King shall be horribly afraid for thee when I shall brandish my sword before them. All, all, all God has to do is, you know, sword rattling, waving the sword round uh, to the, all these other nations. Uh, straighten up or fly right. You know, straighten up and fly right. What? Oh, I think I messed that up. Yeah. Straighten up and fly right, or else. And and the, and they're getting they're getting this fear, or else. Yeah. And and they're seeing. Okay. When I shall brandish my sword, and they shall tremble, 
at every moment, every man for his own life in the day of thy fall. The day Egypt falls, nations will tremble. Okay. For, yes, actually.